Hi there, in this video I'll be showing you the car rental scraper software from scrapingsolutions.com.au. The purpose of this software is to uh, scrape the search results from the thrifty.com.au website. So I'm in the software right now and this is what it looks like. Now the software has its own browser and it will automatically take you when you launch the program to the thrifty car and truck rental website. If that doesn't show, click on the home button up the top. Click on that will take you always to the home page. Okay, so we're going to use this website to uh, look for some search results and then we're going to scrape it. So here we are on the car and passenger vehicles tab. You can also use the other tab there for trucks, vans, etc. Um, so we're going to use the pickup location. So you can either uh, use the pull down menu and select a location or you can just type it in. Um, so I'm going to choose Alice Springs. And then we're going to choose the pickup date. I'm going to choose Monday 10th and then the time I'll choose nine o'clock. Next, choose your return location. I'm going to leave it as Alice Springs and then we'll choose the date. I'll do that 15th on a Saturday and then I'll choose the uh, time. I'll leave that as nine o'clock, I think. And you also have the option of driver's age there as well. Uh, I'm going to now press on the book in for easy steps, the yellow button here. And now that's going to find the search results for us. So we're just going to wait for that now. Okay, so it's gathered those search results and you can see them right here. If you use the uh, right scroll bar, you can have a look at those search results a bit further down the page. Um, so now we're going to scrape this information and put it into the software so we can later save. So notice right at the top, we have a scrape result button. If you click on that, it puts the results from these search results here and puts it into the results tab. If you click on the results tab, you can see the information has been gathered and it has here the company name. It has the model, uh, the vehicle name, price per day, total estimate, the number of doors and the transmission. If we use the scroll bar right at the bottom of the software here, um, you can scroll across and have a look at the other information available that is collected here. Um, so it's gathered all that information for us. Let's say we want to gather some, some more search results and put them into here on top of the ones we've already got. So we'll go back to the browser tab. And then remember, we can click on that home page button to take us back to the uh, home page of that website. And then we're going to use some different search results here. So I'm going to quickly do that right now. I'll just select some random stuff to demonstrate. And choose the date and time here. This time I'll choose a different return location, I think. And then I'll click on the book in free easy steps button. So we're now going to look for those search results. Okay, so it's gathered the search results for us, as you can see here. And again, we're just going to press on the scrape result button at the top. As you can see, it's now in brackets got 22. So it's added those search results to the list we already had. And let's put it at the bottom here. So you've got a nice list of information that we've gathered. Okay, so now let's save this information to a file. So notice next to this scrape results button, we have export to file. If we click on that, then you need to choose a location for the file. I'm just going to put desktop and then just uh, create a name for the file. I've called mine car rentals and it will save this file as a CSV file. Uh, so you can open this up in Excel. Click on the save button. It says export is completed. Press on OK. And if I put the file into view here, you can see it's created this uh, file here and we can open it up in Excel and I'll demonstrate that now. Okay, so I'm in, in a Excel and you can see the information has been saved here. And if I just move the 
uh, columns along a bit so you can see um, all the information is nicely put in columns here um, just as it was in the software um, so you can go ahead and edit that information and use it as you wish now just to uh, quickly show you how you can um, clear this information so that we want to start from scratch just press on the clear result button up the top here and it will say are you sure just press on yes and that clears the results for us there okay so that was a quick overview of the car rental scraper if you're worried about using the software because you're worried about your IP getting banned, you don't have to worry at all because this software has special security measures built in. It has random time delays, multiple browser user agents to avoid IP bans. Um, so thanks for checking it out. Um, you can also have a look at the other scrapers available on the uh, scrapingsolutions.com.au website. And also if you want any of these scrapers available to be customized, that's no problem at all. Just get in contact with us and we'd be more than happy to help. If you like, you can follow us on our YouTube channel. The link is on the screen now. Thanks for watching.